Yeah, what y'all know about that? Hey, what's up, everybody? I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day. My name is Vincent Oshana, and welcome to the Vincent Oshana Show. We did it. We made it again, guys. Yo, I am crazy excited. Just to give you guys a little a synopsis, we're going to do everything on this show from, from sketches to news to, to videos to reaction. We're going to do everything, bro. This is going to be a one-stop shop for entertainment. I know a lot of you guys out there were like, Vinny, they've been messaging me what happened to Funny How. Good question. I was trying to figure out how it was even funny. So, so, so we shifted, and we are where we are uh, today. Yo, and speaking of entertainment, to my left, I have some value team and creative team here with me today. They're going to help me with all the shenanigans. I'm going to introduce them uh, in a little bit. But you know what? Without further ado, we're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into it to the first segment. It's called What the Funk. Let's get into it. Come on, Kelly. All right, guys. This, in this segment, the lovely Kelly Arnold, she's on the ones and twos. Look at how gorgeous she is over there. All right. <laughs> she's going to show you guys a bunch of viral clips that she found on the internet. We haven't seen them. She thought they were crazy. A bunch of crazy people doing stupid shit. We're going to respond as a group, so we're gonna knock that out. All right, Kelly, roll it, let's go. Let's go, what is this? Oh, what the, f <laughs> wait, did he throw up and fall in it? Oh no, oh, this is just redneck. <laughs> I used to do that in Montana, look, look, where is he? Where the hell did he go? <laughs> How far back did he go? Oh shit, I just I'm drunk. Dude, why is he so <laughs> Hold on, why is he so angry? Kelly, go back, bring that back. Why is he so angry at the fridge? Oh, it's empty. That's why he's pissed off. <laughs> Bro, his boy is laughing his ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh my God, what's this? Yeah, you, slow down. Slow down, buddy. <laughs> that always makes me feel good. Don't you love that? Go back to the dog. Kelly, play that one more time. Look at the dog. Look at his dog. Look at you. Slow down. You Slow shit. down. The dog has no. <laughs> Why is he mad at Look, me? Look, yeah, he's mad. Yeah. Why are you mad at me, bro? She's a fairy. She's a fairy. Oh my God. All right, what's going on? Let me. What? Oh, hot girl. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, I love those. She's in the fall. I don't know. Oh shit. Wait. He paid for that. Oh my, yo, look at the guy, the guy at the bar though. wants it. Oh my God, okay, what's this? Hey girl. <laughs> time out, time out. Bring that back, bring that back. Who gave she, you my cousin's she, birthday party? <laughs> That's Shamari's cousin. Yo, first of all, look at nobody in the pool even cares, bro. She's dead. Oh my God, dude. Nobody in the pool even cares, yo. She's dead. Oh my God. All right, all right, hold on. That is, okay. That's a, that is a functioning alcoholic. That has to be Nashville. That, that's oh a functioning God. alcoholic? And he's playing the guitar hey, with an empty bottle, bro. No, that's skills right there. Holy shit. That's a bad boy right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> with the Charlie yeah. Sheen shirt. And that, <laughs> that's a non-functioning alcoholic. <laughs> dude, that is, dude, that I'm, clip I'm was our... freaking crazy, bro. <laughs> like, wait, are we done? Why tell me to move? Shift. Okay, guys. Uh, and that was nuts. Speaking of crazy, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have had, what the hell was that? What the hell's going on there? Yeah, stop that. Stop guys, the videos weren't even done yet. But anyway, that video was crazy. Speaking of crazy, as some of you know, I am uh, single right now because I've had a lot of, people always like, my mom always always question, Vinny, why? What, what's going on? You, 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 I, listen, I always have problems with finding psychotic or crazy clingy girlfriends. I'm pretty sure one of you guys have definitely had that stage five clinger. And I, I guarantee, I'm pretty sure you've probably had one too. I had one and I'd like to show you guys a quick video of that psychotic girl. Kelly, can you please roll that video? Yeah. Hey babe, are you sure you don't need me to go over there and help you out? I'm capable of buying a shirt and shoes by myself. I know I have to see my mom, but I will drop everything. No, no, I'm good. Go do your thing. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Oh my God, Sabrina! You scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? I thought you said you're going to your mother's house. I was, but I want to make sure that you have a nice shirt with a good color. Babe, Love I know, but I'm a grown man. I know how to shop. Babe, please go see your okay. mom. Okay. Well, I love you. I love I you too. Love you. Second floor, please. 
So what shirt did oh you get? Oh my God, getting? Sabrina! What the hell is your problem? I just want to shop alone, babe, please, relax, babe. Relax. I just want to make sure you have the best color. You go see your mom. Babe, I love you. I love her. You but... need my help, and no, no, you I... know it. Hi, babe. Jesus Christ! What the hell? I got these for you. Babe, it's not even Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is in February. It's no, August. No, listen, it's the public council. Let me pee in peace. Okay, go. Take it I don't want them. We'll talk later. Go. Park, okay. Okay. Bye. bye. Get your right, balloons. Go, go, go. Get your balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bye. Hi, babe. Oh, my God. You forgot what your balloons. I don't want the balloons. Please just I take them. They're really home. nice. I got I them for you. I just want to go. Please. Okay, stop being I sad. I can't. Stop. Just, just take I'm it. not sad. Okay, wanna... did you get the shirt that I, I got? No, I got my own Wait, shirt. Wait, babe. 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 Oh, my God. Stop. Babe. I'll have some alone time. It's beautiful here, huh? Oh, Sabrina! What the How? <laughs> Welcome nice. back, everybody. And I'd like to introduce you guys to my clingy, crazy girlfriend, Hi. Sabrina Cigarfunkel. <laughs> she's Jewish. She's Cuban. All right, get the hell out of here. Go sit back in your seat. Actually, guys, that's not my girlfriend. That's uh, Christy Prada. She's one of our Valuetainment uh, creative uh, minds, creative people. Christy, can you just please... Give everybody a quick just synopsis of who you are, where you come from, give it to us. Absolutely, so I am Christy Pradas. I'm a singer, dancer, actress, Broadway performer. Uh, I was over there in New York for some time and the powers that be aligned me to Valuetainment and now I get to play around and hang out with you creative people and mm -hmm. I'm having a blast doing it. I love you, welcome. Uh, Christy, what was the, you were on the major, you were on Broadway with, uh, what, what was the, the, the? It was called On Your Feet. It was the Gloria and Emilio Estefan musical. That's so serious. Yeah, how know? long did it, how long did it run for? Um, I did it for about three and a half years. I did. Oh, I was on the Broadway production, U.S. national tour, and um, headlined in the West End as well. And then I went back to New York, and COVID happened, and the world. Great. Changed. You gotta, I mean, you gotta love COVID. <laughs> and to her left, uh, very sexy, very like Miami. He could be selling drugs. He could be selling Bibles. <laughs> we don't know. Uh, we have Shamari, Sienna, Shamari. <laughs> give everybody a rundown of who the hell you are. Yeah, uh, Shamari, Shamari CNS, you know, rapper, philosopher, you know, oh. talker, artist of some sorts. You know, just a cool guy from Miami. You're just like riding the wave, and you just you just pick them up, you drive, wherever, you're just... Bartender, all of that stuff, man. I'm a, I'm a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Is there, is there anything that you can do, like something that you're like whack at? Uh, something I can't do that I'm not really mm. good at. Yeah. I haven't found it yet, but oh, I'm working on it. Oh, I'm working on it. Okay, well, here's what, coming, working up, on it. coming up with an answer. Maybe that might be. That might be that it. Might be that one. might be it. But I love you guys. I appreciate you know you guys doing this with me. This is I'm, I'm excited. We're back. We're, we're getting serious. Um, and we have one more, right, Kelly? We got one more person. We do. We, we have, have one last special. person that I'd like to introduce. Uh, he's one more member of the VT Creative Team. He is our in-house news correspondent. This dude actually went you guys remember when the train derailment happened <laughs> this cat wasn't even working here yet just was like you know what i'm gonna fly there i'm gonna go with one of our boys with malik and i'm gonna drink the water to see if it's drinkable out of the east palestine river kelly we shot it kelly <laughs> can you please show a video of this maniac did please <laughs> You're too scared to do this. This is the actual water. Look how red he is. Oh my god. <laughs> He's cold, right? Oh. oh. Or it's the Tastes like metal. <laughs> <laughs> that water right now tasted like somebody dropped about a million pennies into it. That's brave. Has that tinny, almost blood-like taste. <laughs> now I'm not gonna drink a whole glass. And just in case you didn't see it before, oh, this is the water. Again. He's getting redder. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Terrible. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> talk Yo, about going the extra that's mile. That's his actual color all the time now. Mm -hmm. Like he hasn't changed, and him being a ginger doesn't help the situation. But anyway, guys, <laughs> we're very happy to have him here. He is the world's most internally polluted journalist. We're gonna go right now to a segment. <laughs> it's called Dodge. This, ladies and gentlemen, give your hands up, give a round of applause for Dodge Landisman. Dodge, how are you doing over there, Dodge? Ooh, ooh. Pretty good. It's kind of cool. My junk glows in the dark. <laughs> So, so you're you know, magnetic whole, and you're glowing in different parts. Could be worse. Yeah, oh, so I put that in my Tinder bio. Makes oh, me stand out. I love it. I love <laughs> it. So Dodge, Dodge, like, Dodge number you, one. Dodge, give us yeah. a little, like, because I haven't been following the news this past week. What is going on in the world? Give us a little, give us a little quip. 
Definitely have some headlines to get into, and we'll start over in Mississippi. A Mississippi news anchor is out of the job after uttering a perceived racial slur. When reporting on Snoop Dogg's new line of wine, she concluded the story with a faux shizzle, my nizzle. Abonics, <laughs> Abonics experts say that that nizzle stands for something much worse. Now Snoop Dogg cannot be reached for comments. <laughs> But in light of his re recent relationship with Martha Stewart, he can be found sliding into the news anchor's DMs. <laughs> no. No. I, no, I, just recall, I know Shamari has that look in his eyes. Do you even know what Nizzle means? What it stands for? I don't. So I feel bad for her. She reminds me of Paula Deen, which is why I know she's <laughs> she Snoop's does. type. Yeah. You know, but... <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, go ahead, go ahead, keep going. Give us another one, Don. And some interesting polling numbers. Former President Donald Trump is polling strong. It's Nationally, he is life. at 50% with DeSantis's 24%. Life. This comes after DeSantis says he doesn't know anything about paying hush money to a porn star. Now, activists do note that they find him inauthentic and stiff. Voters all agree the guy just needs to get laid. <laughs> Dodge, do you, like, Dodge are, you a voting, are you a voting guy? Are you going left, right? Where, where are you at? Where do you... Libertarian, vote third party, actually. So you're third party. Yeah. So, so, but if you had to choose between Trump and him, where would you be going? Trump and DeSantis. Trump and DeSantis. I think Trump is bigger balls, man. Wow! Yeah. I respect yeah. that for libertarian. And uh, mm. dude, Chrissy, just real fast, who are you going for? I mean, you're Guana. I, I have no idea. I feel like DeSantis has some time. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 Chamari, what about you? Uh, I'm one of the few black males that's voting for Trump. Let's go! Hey. Voting for Trump, baby. All right, uh, Dodge. Dodge, let's keep it rolling, baby. All right, and hey, that's my name. The new Dodge <laughs> Challenger SRT Demon boasts 1,025 horsepower. In a historic first, this means it could go from zero to 60 in 1.6 seconds, which is, it, which is exactly how long I lasted with my girlfriend last night. <laughs> oh my God. Stay tuned for her review of the Dodge Ram. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> is that her? Is that your ex? What is she, she's my ex. This is this is about the oh next story. God. She's Dude. from Mexico. Uh, okay. Can't, oh can't get her. She can't get a visa over here, so oh I flew her God. out to Canada. Oh my God, that's so far. Right, give give, give that's us the next story. Dodge. And get a load of this. This is this is what's what's grinding my gears at the moment. Go. A popular movement on Twitter is brewing that calls men predators if they date foreign women. This is become because culturally, foreign women tend to be more submissive, therefore making interested men predators. Detractors call this an attack on pasty gingers nationwide. <laughs> so you are actually pissed off then. <laughs> Yo, Dodge, don't I'm get not too a predator, red. man. Dude, I, I just, just can't. I just, white girls don't like me. Never have, never will. So wait, so you're more of the Europe, like, are you paying for this type of stuff or are you just on your own? Well, then the nice part is the, the dollar to peso conversion rate. <laughs> Oh my God. Get a lot of bank for I mean, buck. my question is, are you flying there specifically oh, to go traveler. get the girls? Or are you flying there saying I'm going on vacation? And uh, if I happen to run across uh, one of these. Dodge is traveling. Oh, no, like, I'll, I'll meet them in Mexico. We'll have a nice romance. OK. And I got you. if I've gone on like a three month dry spell. Oh, my God. I'll That's go so up to cool. Canada, fly them out. Beautiful. And You're smart. All right, Dodge, keep it, keep it rolling. Next okay. story, baby. Let's go. Now in the Ukraine, hundreds of seafarers have been left stranded at sea, disrupting their shipping route. Included in precious cargo are a number of mail order brides. Traders have used the silicone as flotation device devices to reach land. Oh my God. <laughs> nice. Get to the titties. I get it. Yo, I get okay, uh, Tamari, uh, fake boob guy or you're uh, all natural? I'm a boob guy of all sorts. Oh, so you don't, you're uh, not picky, boobs, you're not choosing. Big choosy. boobs, fake boobs. Dodge. Saggy boobs, got you. perky You're boobs. in love. Dodge, what about you? Where are you at? Yeah. Where do you stand? Be honest. Bigger the better. I like older women. <laughs> Nothing like that real housewives look. I respect. So that Paula you know? Dean is your type. Oh, yeah, a little, I wouldn't mind. I would, but yo, you know, dude, I'm 44. I'm in, Dodge. Hey, I just yeah. like Bro, all... As long as they got a nice little hang to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's supple. It's called supple. Okay. Hang. All right, Love Dodge. Dodge, keep it rolling, bro. What's next? And bombshell headline from Forbes magazine. Is the Selena Gomez and Haley Bieber social media rant finally over? Survey says, who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, I'm in. Keep going. Keep going. 
<laughs> ESPN honored a transgendered athlete for Women's History Month. Leah Thomas was featured on a segment in college swimming. A competitor calls the network's decision to include her spineless. ESPN said, while we might be spineless, at least she's still schlongless. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the yo, madness. Yo, I, I wanted to just really, really fast. Uh, well, I, no, we'll get into it after because I, I we'll address this when we get to the to the more serious Stop subject. Stop the madness. Dodge, dodge, Cody keep Schwanz. it going, bro. Keep it going. And Chris Christie prepares to challenge <laughs> President Trump in the upcoming presidential race. He says he wants to do to Trump what he did to Marco Rubio on the debate stage. Still, detractors note. Trump is bigger than Marco Rubio, <laughs> thereby making it harder for him to eat. Oh, my God. Yes, Dodge, I love you. All right, Dodge, keep it going. How many more? That was it? That was the kitten. Guys, Caboodle. keep it going for Dodge, for Dodge, yeah. the Dodge Live report. That's my boy. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I thought because of his redness from the East Palestine, he would have keeled over I didn't think he was going to make it. I Yo, survived. Dodge, have you been feeling anything crazy from that? Like, anything? Are you just... Glow in the dark, penis, and then you know, that's it. But there's, there's a burning sensation, like right, right on my hair in the nether regions. <laughs> but I, I feel like I had that burning sensation before I drank so the water. It's fine. I'm just not gonna bother to go to the doctor. Yeah. I'm just gonna say it's because of the water. Yeah, oh, water. that's it. From Mexico. Yeah. Did right. the Mexican girl water know this? Mexican water. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right, guys. Oh my god, that's so freaking funny. You need this to get checked, nuts. Dodge. Um, yeah, all right, you guys. I want to go to a doctor, uh, bro. That was hilarious. Thank you again, yeah, you Dodge. Um, I like to shift gears right now to a more serious topic topic to a segment we call venting with Vinny. all right uh as we all know a couple days ago march 27th there was a mass shooting that occurred at the covenant school in nashville tennessee the shooter was a transgender male like i don't, I don't know is it because it was a she but she wanted to be a boy i don't know i don't pay attention to the transgender it's a it, trans was a, it was a woman it was a girl it was a girl okay that transgender years. whatever okay uh and her name was audrey elizabeth hale murdered uh, six people, uh, as well as uh, herself, whatever, I'm not going to get into it. Three children, three staff members were the victims. Our hearts go out to everybody, the victims, the families, to everybody involved with the situation. It's disgusting. Um, Christy, you actually wrote an article for Valuetainment. It's on Valuetainment.com uh, called Nashville School Shooter. It's not a gun problem. It's a mental health problem. I, I read the article. I loved it. I do agree with everything that you said in it. And I normally don't, when people write articles, I always have my own thing. But can you please give everybody at home a little, a brief synopsis of what you wrote? I mean, I just always find it funny. Everything has been made so political nowadays. So something as tragic as a school shooting almost immediately turns into this political game of like who's to blame. And I think that there's two radical sides that always go ahead of each other. And it's either taking away guns or making the Second Amendment, you know, abolishing it so that we can protect children or do we take care of this mental health problem that's happening in society? And I feel like in some ways, two things can be right at the same time. Mm -hmm. I do feel like it's foolish to be blaming a firearm for killing these people when if there's no one behind pulling the trigger, the firearm can't possibly do it by itself. Got you. So it's definitely, it's kind of like, I think they're trying to pass this um, this bill for like pit bulls. You know how they have like certain breeds that are banned, okay. but they keep other ones. And it's like, it's always that same fight of like, it's not the dog, it's the owner and how you raise the animal. It's the same thing I feel like with firearms. Like we have to take care of the person behind the trigger. We have to make sure if there's like a psychological test that I think that we can add maybe I agree. before you, um, obtain a firearm I think that would be great but what I think is more important is the fact that we have the manpower and the funds to protect our schools mm -hmm. I think that we have a lot of veterans out there who come back from war they pass the psychological test they're fully able-minded and capable I think that there's a way where we can continue giving them more purpose and maybe place one of them in each school I mean we do the same thing in what almost every every other event yeah. Music festivals, 100%. concerts, um, what is it, baseball games, celebrities get protected from the, uh, you know. The with, president, the government. Yeah, everybody the president, government. the government. So I think that um, we definitely have the funds to be able to do that and implement them in schools, as well as, you know, maybe the psychological tests for 
before obtaining firearms. I just think that there's multiple ways to go about it, but just taking away firearms or blaming guns, I think that this is a bigger problem, and I think it's the, the mental health of society so, nowadays. And so, Chrissy, and mind you, this isn't me. People, when, you, when we speak like this, I know you get that pushback of people going, well, if everybody just, if we just take away all the guns, then that'll solve that, that you don't, they, they don't care about the person behind it. So what do you say what's to somebody that's like, let's just take all the guns? That's a I bad mean, I, idea. Yeah, no, yeah. I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to find this. I'm going to come to you, Shamari. I, but. Feel, I feel like, you know, the bad people are still going to be able to find their weapons. I think that that's just going to limit the good people who are trying to do the right thing, obtain their firearms correctly and legally. I think it's just going to take their rights away, and, and the bad people are still going to be able to get yeah, it. Yeah, Shamar, what do you think? I mean, historically, um, and I wrote this down a little earlier, historically, whenever a country decides to take away the guns or uh, even do some type of gun control, there's usually some type of mass murder or execution-style thing that happens to a, a group of people. Like, for instance, I think in 1911, uh, they did this in Turkey, and it was a million Armenians that got killed. They mm -hmm. did this in Russia in, like, 1930 or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was an execution of many different Russian dissidents. Did it in China. Um, they've done it in Germany before World War II, and they killed, look how many Jews. Mm -hmm. So before they go on any type of mass murdering spree, anybody that is a, uh, a despot and that wants power, they usually will disarm the, the population in some way, 100%. whether it's through gun control right. or actually taking in the guns. So yeah. I'm not for I'm I'm not necessarily for um, too much gun control. I believe that everybody should get their license, and once you get your license, you get your fingerprinted. There's gun tests, yeah. but it is definitely a mental health issue. It is definitely something going on in somebody's cabeza that is for, way wrong. I I agree 100% because bro, like my job, I have multiple guns. I've Guns in California, I'm getting them <clears throat> shipped here because I just moved here. But it's like, like, like you said, those guns right now, Chrissy, they're chilling. Shamar, mm -hmm. my guns are chilling. It's the, to actually get to the point where you have to go and you feel like murdering innocent. Like, dude, killing kids, there's definitely, definitely something going on here. And this shooter, the mass shooter, the Audrey Elizabeth Hale, apparently she was in therapy and she was, she had mental problems, she had all these guns, the parents didn't know. And I, and I, I Pat, Patrick talked about this on his podcast. It, it do comes down too to like accountability for family and friends. It's like, bro, if you see this person showing this type of attitude or showing this, apparently they didn't know about the guns, but like, do you guys feel like if you think something is going on or you feel something's going on, even though they're, they're, like, they're in the same ideological, like, basket is you, but you should just leave them alone and let them do their thing? When you say leave them alone and do their own thing, what, what are we talking like, about Like, Are like, you just like, yeah, they're kind of crazy, but whatever. Yeah, I know that they have guns, but I'm not going to report my friend or my family member because they will get in trouble, even though they're saying some outlandish stuff. I mean, one of the things about America is that we do lean on the side of liberalism. And when I say liberalism, I don't necessarily mean being a liberal. I mean the fact that we are about freedom and allowing people to do whatever they want to mm -hmm. do how they want to do it and give them their right to be who they want to be. Got you. Now, the problem with that is that when you're crazy, we also allow you to be a crazy bastard and do whatever the hell you want to do. You know, it's mm -hmm. not like um, it's my job as another American citizen to now go call the Help Me Howard or whatever hotline yeah. to go check you. Okay. You know what I mean? And yeah. so I'm a big fan of accountability. Your problem is your problem. My problem is my problem. Her problem is her problem. And we have to be somewhat self-aware, self-aware to the point where it's like, all right, I'm, I'm having an issue. But, but, but I need to go get that gonna, worked what are you out. Say, I just think, I think it's mainly because there's no, for me, I think people are just so lost on what's sane and what's insane nowadays. And I think it reflects a lot on your moral compass. Mm -hmm. I think it has to do with all of your, I think each person has their own foundations, their own moral compass, and how they live their life, and what they deem to be good or bad, mm. crazy or sane. And I think people, especially like the younger generation, especially these shooters that are coming out, I just feel like people are either afraid to say something, or they just don't know. They just don't know what it is. If it's just like someone being themselves, being crazy, or they should just leave them alone, like let them do their thing, like what you said. Like, I, I don't know where they should step in. Draw the line. Yeah, yeah. it's go. difficult. I feel like people are lost and they don't know. And where, Dodge, what's I want to come on. to you in a second. What, what are you going to say? See, now the biggest issue with trying to find out what you're asking is like, where are they standing? Yeah. Is 
and this may be a little inflammatory, but if you are a transgender, he, she, she, he, whatever, I don't think you know where you're at anyway. Mm -hmm. So now we're trying to ask somebody who doesn't know what gender they are. They don't even know what bathroom right. they should be going to to know what's the difference between right or wrong, good, evil, bad, good, you know? Exactly. Like they so don't. you got a bunch of confused people walking around with guns. Are, are they crazy or are they criminal? Because right. those are two different things. Now they go to a psych ward. They don't go to jail. Yeah. Uh, they they want to die anyway. They want to take out these kids with them. Did they have beef with the teachers that they went to school with well, there? Yeah, because she did uh, the, Audrey, the Audrey Hale. She went to this Christian school. She was aiming for the pastor's daughter. So and the she's got to stop. Wow. She, 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 didn't, she, didn't kill the, she didn't kill the pastor's daughter. She, she went, did. It was she killed the pastor's yeah. daughter? Wow. She's got an internal <laughs> beef. So maybe her in her <laughs> he-she-ness, she was thinking like, all right, these Christian people tried to oppress my oh, sexuality and personality. Oh. And you know what? It's time for me to take vengeance. Oh, and I, I hope and I, 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 I saw this somewhere on the internet. It was a uh, Somebody said, and this wasn't me, somebody made a thing. They were like, if, if this was any other religion, mm -hmm. like if it was uh, at a Jewish school or a, a Muslim school, mm -hmm. it would have been uh, hate, crime. hate crime, 100%. Notice how this thing is just fizzling out in the news. I barely even saw, there's no more cops standing in front of schools because that's what normally happens because they got to show a force and, and protect. But it's like crazy that Christianity, and I, we talked about yeah. this yesterday, like Christianity is just not doing really well on, on the on the like platform of of society because it's like bro like it's we're, we're like we're kind of down you here want me to go there no i want you to but no, well, i just want to ask real quick no dodge well, out of this whole situation dodge where were where were you at because i know you're you know you're a reporter and you're doing all that but what's and i we're at, we were joking with you but i want to know your serious take on this yeah it's how many more shootings has to happen before people realize that the Christian community is facing serious hatred mm -hmm. and discrimination as mm -hmm. well. Because wow. remember, we could also think back to the Charleston shooting and the church over there yep. that was racially motivated mm -hmm. and it was religiously motivated. Mm -hmm. yep. And what really kind of inflames me is President Biden today was asked about Josh Hawley advocating to officially identify this incident as a hate crime. Mm -hmm. Biden said, oh, I haven't heard that. And, they're, and they said, well, it came from Senator Hawley. And he said, well, if it came from Senator Hawley, then I don't agree with it. Wow. He was so flippant. And, and I'm an advocate to make sure nobody gets attacked. Pulse nightclub was an attack on LGBTQ people. Uh, there have been uh, uh, attacks based on hatred for women, based on hatred for members of the Islamic community. But what I'm saying is we have to stay, we can't, progressives can't have selective hatred enforcement. We have to stand against all hatred, whether that be with our LGBTQ neighbors, our black neighbors, or our Christian neighbors. So uh, it's this remarkable hypocrisy where if you view this from an objective standpoint, there's no way to, to look, to agree with it, agree with the progressives here whatsoever. Gotcha. And so, so Daj, what would you, if you, what do you think one, one change that, that they could do or we could do to try to like shift gears and make it a little bit, because I mean, dude, like it, like you said, we're, under attack, every other religion is looked at. They they're like, oh my god, these people hate them. When it comes to Christians, we're we're like yeah. third class. You know what I mean? Like what? what? Well, uh, I would say identify and find Christian hate groups and Christian hate movements. Right. That's that's what's been missing. You know, you think of like the Southern Poverty Law example, mm -hmm. for example, and they do good work. They identify racist hate groups. There is no such law or governmental organization that tries to investigate and root out Christian hate groups. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's 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 glaringly obvious that the civil liberties of our Christian residents are not being respected. In in fact, who knows? Maybe there's a subversive feeling that the more Christians fall by the wayside and the more and more of them are gone, the more we could promote our agenda. So I wonder if there's something deeper as to why Biden is not reflexively saying this is a hate crime. Let's investigate anti-Christian hate groups. I agree. And bro, I mean, I mean, just just thinking about it when uh, yesterday or was it two, two days ago when they found out well, Biden's in the White House. I don't, you, did you see it? He's downstairs, and oh he's gosh. down there walking with a mic, smiling. Mind you, yeah. kids are literally dead in a Christian school, like a place that the last place that you would think somebody would come in and start killing people. He's down. He's like, hey, I heard that. I only came down here for ice cream. I heard there was chocolate chip ice cream. <sighs> I'm coming down here for ice cream. Mind you, mm. everybody's laughing and clapping because he's the most coddled, old, senile, yeah. freaking guy, dude. 
It's embarrassing. As much shit people talk about Trump, and we're all learning now how the dude, the whirlwind of evil that was behind Trump not to get in, and then all those years following to get him out, impeachment farce and all that crap. It's like Joe Biden is just hanging on by a thread, and then, and then he's like, whose kids are those in the back? Have those kids stand up. Why are you always right. playing games with kids and, and, and talking about dumb shit? And nobody holds him accountable. Right. You know that, right? Nobody has, and I've seen him live. Just recently, I saw Biden stand up. Dodge, I'm pretty sure you saw this. Mm -hmm. He stood up and he goes, you know what? Republicans are the ones that want to defund the police, and Republicans said defund the FBI. Right. And not Case one, topic. that's why when Trump said the, the news media is the enemy of the people, they are. Not one of them raised their hand and said, wait a minute, excuse me, sir. You're lying. When the hell did one Republican ever utter those stupid ass words? It's the Democratic Party because they 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 do that kowtow shit to everybody that wants to hear shit. Well, let me be the first if no one's ever said this, and this is not the, the views of Valuetainment or anybody at Valuetainment, but Joe Biden is a dumbass. <laughs> a senile <laughs> dumbass. And he's Honestly, he's offensive. To me, as a black man, I remember when he was running and he said, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. And yep. I was like, excuse you? ain't black. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Excuse, yep. Like, who are you to so, tell so me what? So question is, Jamar, because I know you didn't, you're not black. You ain't black. I don't know. Every day I wake up, <laughs> I don't know. You like, tell me. listen, you, you're, tell me. you ain't black, but guess what? Dodge is red well, as drop shit. Comment. Like Leave Hillary a comment. Clinton. It's Shamari Black. Yeah. Like Hillary, I carry hot sauce in my pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Swag. Yeah. And it's just, I'm telling you, that one side. For shizzle, just, my nizzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one side could get away with murder. But I want, I want to go back. Uh, to what I was talking about, uh, and me and Kelly, Kelly, we were talking about this, about the kids. It's like, these kids today have zero chance, man. They are, think about it, Christy. Think, so they're a kid that's in the womb, in a, in a woman right now, okay? You not only have to hope that she's healthy, that you're healthy, correct? And that she's not injecting vaccines and one of those, mm -hmm. like I have people, trust me, in my life that are like, oh, my kid, as soon as it's out, <laughs> I'm jabbing. That's how brainwashed these people right. are. And then the thing about it, it goes from there, then not getting aborted to, to medications that they just, parents, nowadays, bro, if the kid's crazy or whatever, what are all those drugs? Uh, Ritalin and oh, uh, yeah. all that shit that makes mm -hmm. them bananas, right? And then they neglect them. Then they're sexualizing them in school. We're all seeing what they're doing to kids. I saw a video of, when I say drag, I'm not talking about that the drag queen that, you know, where it's like a, a white guy with a blonde wig and they have a dress on. No, no, this dude was wearing a G-string. Let me explain something to you. I love that you said that. Call it what it is. It wasn't a drag show. It was strippers, it was strippers. in front of children. Three, four-year-olds. So what hope do these kids have? And then from there, we bring them to all that. And then safety. You, you're putting these people in a school. Kelly, can you put up that... Um, that, uh, that the, the Instagram picture that I showed you, yeah. you mentioned it. I want everybody to see this. And Kelly, uh, you actually mentioned this, Christy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's a different perspective on school shootings, all right, with guns. We defend our president with guns, our celebrities, guns, our banks, guns, our courts, guns, our jewelry stores, our sporting events, our music festivals, guns. You know how we defend our children? With a sign that says, this is a gun free zone. Yeah. They have no chance and i don't know what, what do you guys think i'm gonna go to both of you what what is going on with this movement about not giving a shit about them and the sexualization is like what what's the shift is it the lack of the religious talk to me i mean i think it's just everything's been so politicized that we end up losing like they talk about not putting um security in front of schools that we don't have the funds that we're already in debt but yeah we're sending money to ukraine hundreds of billions of millions dollars. upon millions of dollars when i think i saw a post on instagram where it was like they did the math according to all the public schools and i guess one armed veteran in each school would be equivalent to like a little over nine million dollars or something a like year, that. a year yeah okay which is like completely doable i think but because everything's so politicized i think our higher ups just want to remain in power and so they put the money where they deem fit for them mm -hmm. and we end up losing i feel like we lack in protecting our own ground and we just go into everything else and the ones who end up losing are always yeah because the and you know why they're giving all this money to Ukraine because there's money over there we want right. to invest in that land and we're the not taking strategic, care of people oh here. yeah because mind you I am a United States Air Force veteran trust me I know many sane out of work or struggling veterans that would jump 
at that shit, that job, in a heartbeat. Right. In a heartbeat. And mind you, just like you said, give them a mental, you know, the, the examination, have them be yeah. safe. I, I, I'm not talking about, somebody the other day was like, you want to send real talk. Somebody was like, because they saw me talking on Pat's podcast, you want to send the guy that's been to war with PTSD? To, I go, who the hell said that? You think all veterans yeah. have been like shot at and soldiers? I go, bro, not the majority of them haven't been to war. Do you feel me? Like, Dodge, mm. Dodge, what do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the care is absolutely terrible. It's, it's, been, it's been terrible for veterans really since they came back from Vietnam. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and you see the, the, the list of priorities. And it's interesting because, you know, it's why Eisenhower once warned us of the industrial military complex of spending on the military going up and up and up. Yeah. But it never comes back to the actual never. veterans. And yeah. they, they're, they're, it's like, dude, there's a force. I don't know if it's what it is, bro. I mean, China's completely winning all the time when it comes to us. Uh, Think about it. China could do whatever they want. With TikTok, Kelly, Kelly oh I know you talk about the TikTok, they're, they're killing the brains of the kids. I feel like social media in general is bad for kids. Mm-hmm. Social and, media in general is bad for kids. And why uh, would you say that, Kel? What, what just, you, there's so much online bullying. There's so much pressure. You know, it used to be like way back when, when I was a kid, you know, magazines. <laughs> Kelly, you're 22 were, years old. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I love Kelly's you know, like a child. You know, but like, I, it was what I read in books or like magazines. And I could be jealous of, you know, the skinny, tiny models on, on magazines. And now I'm jealous of like every girl like on social media who's trying to do this, that and the other thing. There's so much pressure for young kids to look a certain way because guys do or girls do or to act a certain way because guys, girl. And again, the bullying. It's not an ele- uh, why kids uh, commit a lot of violence is because they were bullied when they were younger by teachers, by students, by whoever. Yeah. And a lot of it's online and digital now. And it's suicide. Um, and Kelly, they're, and besides they're beating up kids and stuff, the suicide rates uh, for children absolutely. has skyrocketed. It's insane. And I don't know that putting, I mean, yes, there should be someone a police officer or a veteran armed in your school to help protect you for other safety reasons, not just for school shootings and stuff to help make you feel safe. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be the only focus. Like kids are our future. Kids yeah. are going to make 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 our future, make the new world. We have AI now. There's so many things that they that they're creating with the what's the thing where it, where it, uh the 3D printing thing, oh, yeah. the oh, AI, man. like there's all this stuff that they could create. And a lot of people are starting to share, you know, their true selves on social media. So it's not like all bad. Yeah. Like the, like comedians are getting to, uh, you get to reach a wider, wider audience and, and, and enlighten people and, and help bring a smile to their face. And kids are creating things too and getting to share that through social media from the get-go because they were exposed to it so young. Gotcha. And I feel like there's just so much they could be focusing on creative-wise instead of being worried about getting killed in their school. Yeah, no, I agree. Shamar, you, you want to say something? I might be a little bit, um, I might be a little bit <laughs> stoic or a little bit hard on this whole situation. Oh, well, I want to hear it. But honestly, I, di I genuinely think that everything starts with personal accountability. I think when we take the fact that what happens to our kids, what okay. happens to us, what happens to our property is on us, okay. I think that's where we'll get a, a, a sense of true north. Our compass will be realigned. Okay. See, the problem isn't guns. The problem isn't bullying. The problem is the fact that nobody is willing to nut up and take care of their kids, teach their kids how to deal with conflict. Conflict resolution is a big thing when it comes to the brain. Yeah. If you don't know how to handle your problems, you are gonna lash out. Yeah. You're gonna act out in ways that are not good for the general, the general population or good for society. Got you. Right, so what's one of the issues that we brought up here? Um, we brought up, we, we talked about guns and the kids being bullied, right? That was yeah, one of the Yeah, bullied, the internet, that, TikTok, and everything like right? that. Right, yeah. if my kid is bullied, I'm teaching my kid, hey, you learn how to approach somebody and talk to somebody and say, hey, you're not going to treat me like that. Yeah. And if they want to fight you, you fight back. Okay. You understand? Got you. And you, I'm not telling you to go grab a weapon, but I'm telling you to stand up for yourself. If the problem needs to escalate, don't let it escalate yep. past fists. If it yep. goes past fists, you come talk to me as the parent. And guess what? We're going to move the situation around. I got We're you. going to change the pieces on the chessboard. Mm -hmm. I'm not just going to have you sitting in that, that mess. Yeah as a parent who cares about his kid. Yeah, but, and, but and, and go, 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 go. We, we have so much great content here at Valuetainment. Like you can gain a lot of wisdom and gems out there. And then we have one lady named Jetta Diabila. And she talks about the matrix, the way that the system and the powers that be work. And she has said the reason why capitalism is so important mm -hmm. and why making money is so important is because when you get money, 
You can change the reality around you. You don't have to say, I'm going to put my kid in this public school because it's all I can afford and it's all right. that I can do right now at this time. You're not at the whim of the world. The world starts to move to your whim. Mm -hmm. And this is why I think the message that we have here a lot of times at Valuetainment, capitalism and pushing people to go further. Yeah. And, and when you see these dumb articles about we need more underachievers. Yeah. Oh, you remember this? Like, I was on that podcast. It's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. You, we've, we've pushed this victim mentality, this, this lack of accountability for too long. Yeah. When we see it, and the, this shooter, she's mad at the school for how they treated her maybe when she was a kid. She hasn't taken any accountability in her life, or he or she, or whatever the yeah, hell they we, are. I, I'm having, that's a whole that's different a conversation. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah. Yeah. This is, it really pisses me off. I, a lot of the things in the world really piss me off, and I'm a quiet dude, but you put a mic in front of me, I, I can, I can I, let dude, you spit. And, yo, and that's why we got, and so, Tamari, I, hold on, especially coming from me, bro, I appreciate the passion. I think from what you're saying too is about the accountability. I take a step back, Christy, as well. I go, you know what? You know what's happening? Because I see that shit all the time. These parents are getting lazy as shit. Lazy. I, hold on. La you know why lazy, dog? Because of thi this, this phone, these, oh. the iPads, bro. Let me explain something to you. I've been in houses where for hours, six hours, barbecue, whatever, dog. Their parents, ain't nobody talking to no kid. They're like... Get the hell out of here. Do that. The and kids I'm, be like this. Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yo, and, <laughs> and, and are, you, are you ready for this? And not because I know we keep talking about value tame and stuff like that. I go to Pat's crib. They're reading. Dude, listen to me. I'm, Pat's kids are like this with books. I haven't seen one iPad in that house. They're engaging what each other. Book? They're talking to each other. This, uh, uh, Tico, read, this, his, his older son, read a 600 page book in four days. Let me explain something to you. I threw up when I read the you first page. You have never like, in your <laughs> life. I haven't read anything like that. But it goes to that, and I think, and I think because we're wrapping up right now so we go to our next segment, um, I think the laziness is showing 100%, and uh, like parents, th th that's their escape. And this is where the shift, this is, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna you tell me if you felt this, Chrissy, because I mean, I'm older than, than the majority of you, but a generation or two after mine Disciplining your kids, and I hate when people always go, Vinny, you talk about hitting your kids? Nah, dog, disciplining. My mother, I never was mm. beaten, I never bled. Yeah, they hit me with the, I love genius, uh, the, what, the, the wooden spoons, yeah. but guess what? <laughs> I knew when they said, don't touch this, I knew when they're, that little, yeah. we're, they're missing this because those oh, yeah. kids, they kept doing this oh, till the yeah. parent was like, no, no, don't I do that. And then one day that turned into, hey, you know what, dad? I'm a girl today, and the father's like, go for it, Jimmy. Oh, you want you want to become one? I'll, dude, yeah. it's the pet. It Let me share you a little story, right? So there was, I, I was in the gifted program as a kid, right? And I was in special ed. Yeah. Were you really? I was on the, 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 the yeah. upper side no. of special so ed. Go back. Anyway, so let me wrap it up quick. <laughs> right? Yes. I love yes. that. I can go in on that too, but I'm not going go ahead, there. Go ahead. The point is, right, so my dad always said his thing was, if I get called and I got to leave work, yeah, that's your ass. Oh, God. Oh, no. Of course. And so one day it finally turned into my ass because yeah. uh, one of the, the teacher called her in and we had a parent teacher conference. And I literally mean I'm sitting in the corner just like this. And yeah. my dad, as soon as the lady <laughs> finished talking, like yeah. imagine Christy's like the teacher. As soon as she's finished talking, yeah. my dad literally turns to me and just starts. <laughs> Oh, oh in, in front of everybody. In front of the both of the team. Yeah. Like, to the point where the team's like, yo. Like, you listen, like, listen we're not going to call the cops, but chill. chill. Yeah. You're like a happy medium between the two. And, no, you're, and, you're, and mind it you, was you're, perfect. You know why it was perfect? Because huh. I never got a call home of ever course. fucking and, and Shamari, that's what's, what's lacking. <laughs> that's what's lacking. And Chrissy, you're, you're being a Cuban. Oh, Come my on, gosh. Bro. See, my mother was never that athletic, but when it came to her throwing <laughs> the chancleta, oh, forget it. it was like a boomerang. Like, yeah. she would throw it, and it would come back to her, and I I was very impressed. But yeah. that, I would get, um, they were called tapabocas, which it was just pretty much like a nice little hit. One in the mouth. Those, like, wow. hard ones. And you learn. And, like, <gasps> and listen, I'm talking about we need to it bring just, back... We need to bring back yeah. that little, like, ugh, okay. A anyway. little, it's like being checked. That's it. It's Just a check. A it's a check. check. What's the worst part, you know? too? Yeah. The anticipation. Oh. Yes. When you know you're going to oh. get the ass whooping. It changes. And you're, like, sitting there in bed, when, like, I hope I go you know to sleep. Let me go to sleep. I need to go to sleep. Do your parents do it? Oh. Do your parents do it when they're like, if you don't want oh. in that corner? Oh, the yeah, cup yeah, are coming back. around the corner. Oh, you get a jingle of the buckle. See, we need more of that. You know what it is? Kids today will never hear those. Listen to me. When I say priceless, amazing words, 
wait until your father gets home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I would like his mom. He's a guy. Please. No. I'll lick. I'll kiss your feet. I'll clean. Mom, and then, not mom, 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 he'd, mom, walk in, oh, he'd walk in and she didn't tell him yet. And I was just like, I'll do it. I'll give you cash. <laughs> but anyway, all right, guys. We're going to. Guys, I, I'm I, sweating what, just thinking about too. it. Amazing, amazing conversation. All right, guys. Now that we solve the world's problems yeah, in our 20 minute conversation, easy. you're oh. welcome out there. Uh, I like to end the show. We talked about, you know, we went from funny, we went to serious. We went to, you know, world stuff, but I like to always end with a lighter note on my show. And we're gonna end with a game called Wordplay. Kelly, please explain the game and the rules for everybody. Kelly, take it away. Come on, Christy. Okay, so we've got Wordplay. Uh, we have a list here of 20 random uh, funny words. We're dividing it evenly between Vinny and Christy. And then, um, okay. Uh, so you guys are going to, the goal is to work the words as casually and as seamlessly as possible into conversation as your assigned characters in How many words? How many words? Five so words? you're going to get five words each for the first scene and then five words each for the second scene. Okay, and we're going to be characters? Yeah. Different characters? Oh my yes. Gosh. Oh, um, uh, the players have to incorporate their words in order you, uh, into the conversation. You can't look at the next word until you've used the current word. Okay, so we're both, so we're going to be, all right, so you're going to tell us the characters. Five words for each character. Yes. So here okay. are your words. Okay, give me, give me, give me. Oh give my me. gosh. <laughs> I've never seen oh them. So okay. Five. Okay. I mean, I saw hers. Is that bad? <gasps> Don't look. All right. Okay. okay. I can't look. I okay. saw the first. Don't I show each other your wait, words. These are for you only. Because okay. this is going to be funnier oh if gosh. we can't see. All right. See. So wait. Kelly, are we holding this up like this? So they can see it? No, they're going to see it behind you. Oh, okay. The audience, you'll be able to see the words that they have to say next on the TV screen behind them. Okay, okay so you guys have your words. So your first scene, uh, uh, Vinny, you are Yoda. And Yoda? <laughs> like, can you guys yell harder? Mm, okay. Yeah, look, you So you guys laughing at me? He's got it, mm. he's got it. <laughs> oh, Christy, God. you're going to be Michael Jackson. Why couldn't she do I want my good time. Right, that's fine. Okay. She's got the moves. She's what's, got the moves. All right, what's the conversation? All right, so the scene is that you have fallen in love and you've been together for eight years. Recently, though, your relationship has been testy. So Michael Jackson suggests couples counseling. So you guys are now talking, counseling, and an argument breaks out. You want to try to get to a uh, conclusion, hopefully by the end of your five words, but embody your character, oh. use your words in order, and go. Don't look at the, don't look at the TV screen behind who's you, first? okay? Who's first? Go, back, paper, scissors. Uh, back, whichever paper, one. Scissors. Okay, ah! you're first. You're first. Oh, Vinny, you're first. I, I, I don't I know win? why I did this. Did I win? But, um, okay. Mm, Michael. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm, I, rem I missed the days when you used to really beat it. This <laughs> 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 is so stupid. Go. Um, you know, um, Yoda, I, I really do feel like we've been, we've been trying our very hardest, and I just feel like, <clears throat> sorry, there seems to be a little <clears throat> frog in my throat, but <laughs> oh, nice, I really nice. feel like we can get to a, to a place where we could find healing, if you mm. think about it. Michael, <laughs> I think the surgery is getting too much. I'm going to have to start wearing goggles. <laughs> I, I, think, I think you do, because lately I've been looking at you... Um, and you seem to have a couple of warts <laughs> set up right above your face. And I don't know if that's just your face, but it's, it's distracting me. That was because of the sun. <laughs> but Mike, you know I'm really into Middle Easterns, but ever since the Coca-Cola fire, it burned all the chest hair off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so bad. I actually so prefer no chest hair, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but, you know, let's try to just make this work. I don't want to force anything unless you like that force. <laughs> we can make, uh, why, why, is he, why is he a little country? <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> Michael's, country from, Michael's from Indiana. Uh, hey, um, mm, Mike, I, I like the South that's coming out. But uh, I, I don't know, because I don't know if you're black or white. But <laughs> Because I really want to be racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, a for okay. Effort. Buzz ah. right. That was not a good one. I don't know how the word one. racist Did in not there. Pass. Did not pass. Did not pass. Hey, Christy, your word. Oh, my God. Um, Are we going to the next one? Shit. The next one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Um, your last words. 
it's what country, a country I Mike. I was just going to say, you, you're dripping with sweat a little bit. Ooh. You're a little nervous. Oh. Nice. Mm. I, oh, well, since you want to get serious, mm. <laughs> last night when we hooked up, that wasn't me. Mm. That was a zucchini. <laughs> You know what? I don't think. Mm. <laughs> How about vegetable? <laughs> How about we forget the zucchini? We forget you. Just leave your lightsaber, and we can figure this out. Mm. Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh so I lost. I lost that. That's bullshit. Hey, well, she Christy buzzed me. definitely won. Vinny, I, I let you get away with the first one, too. No, you whatever. were laughing so no hard the first Michael one. Jackson Jimmy, we don't need, so we don't need these, right? These no, are done. No, throw them away. Toss them in the air. All right. Next up, uh, we have... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Which one? Is mine? Oh, Trump? I'm Donald Trump? Or she's Trump? Okay, sorry. Um, Vinny, you are Trump. Oh, great. And Christy, oh you I mean, are Sophia Vergara. Ew. Oh, so wait, who, that's a girl from uh, Modern Family? Yeah. Oh, yes. I love her. I love her. She's fun. All right. I like her. So, Whoa, what do you need? How can he not? Prop, but it's oh, okay. you had a prop? No, I just get, no. My, you're the Mexican <laughs> girlfriend. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Donald Trump <laughs> and Sofia like, Vergara are in a bar debating whether vodka is better or tequila is better. Trump, obviously you love vodka, and Sofia, you love tequila. So, um, you're debating which is better. Let's find out which is better and scene. Okay. No, she's going, she's going first this time. Y yes. Okay. I Trump. Mírame. Yes. Look at me. Yeah, go ahead. I know we're here at the bar. Okay. I know you don't know what I like to drink. Pero excuse me, I need a hairpiece. Um I love tequila. But I wanna know what you like. Listen, as everybody knows. Oh my God. Kelly, don't do this right now. I'm trying to focus. <laughs> All right. I, yes, I'm orange. People think I'm crazy. I'm losing my mind. But I have never, I'm going to say it again, I have never gotten drunk. Just let you know. You lie. Never. You lie. Never. Never gotten <laughs> drunk. Never. So, you've never gotten panties at a bar before? <laughs> no, no. But listen, Sofia, what is it? Good guy, Gagera? I don't know. I don't know. Are you Puerto Rican? Mexican? I can be whatever you want okay, me to I be. Love the Honestly, Mexican, I sound like anything. The Mexicans love me. Listen, I know we're at the bar. <laughs> listen, I know we're talking. What's wrong with your we're, fingers? We're trying to listen. Relax. I please. Relax. Don't, I'm already dealing with stuff with women. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna give you something to go talk to me later. We can figure this out later. I'm gonna give you my root key. Okay, just just take it. Go. I want that, but I also want a lot of money. Do you have a lot of money, Mitro? <laughs> I beat Sophia yeah. Gagera. I, good. Ganja Jera, I don't Gagera. know. Ganja. Let me explain. Gagera. Oh, whatever. I'm sorry. Listen. Be careful. I think if I do, I have money. It's not I my last enough. name. Please. Shh. Who shh, is that? Please don't talk. I'm telling you right now. I have enough money. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge. But guess what? I have enough money to make you hush. I don't know if you've been watching the news. My money makes people hush. Not recently, but you know what I'm saying. You sound like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> She's bit. laughing. <laughs> Go ahead. What? What? Nothing. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Did you say your word? No. No. Yeah, I did. did you gotta pay attention. I said you it. almost it was broke hush, character. Hush, you almost hush, broke buddy. character. No, I didn't break. Anyways, Watch your mouth um, <laughs> I'm congested. Unbelievable. Yeah, um, so when you don't drink, why are you here at the bar? Because I'm going to tell you something lately. I hate going to the dentist. My back tooth has been hurting, so I've been taking the alcohol and gargling so it numbs the tooth. My father would do that back in the day. Very huge. Are you dancing? <laughs> yeah. Is that uh, the dance? I don't know. My back If hurt. I dance too much, I get diarrhea <laughs> here. I can't do that here. Is that the <laughs> one? <laughs> okay. Listen. Listen. I'm, okay. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm in my 70s. I'm not as old as Joe Biden, but I gave you my room key. If we go upstairs, okay. I'm not going to lie. Money everywhere, but I can't perform. Got to use a dildo. I'm sorry. I got to use a dildo. Got to do it. It's going to be huge. <laughs> it's going to say Trump. It's called the Trump Tower. Nasty. It's going to be called the, the Trump, Trump Train. Tower. No? Yeah. Is that what you say? The Trump Train? The oh. Trump Train. I am getting so horny you know? right now. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally. God. Oh. Oh, so 
Dude. That was so good. Okay. All yeah, right. Con- congratulations. Congratulations. You, you guys so- can make your way to the stage. Oh, God. Right, I so have what- determined from the scores Listen, here that, in front that. of me oh, that, no. uh, Vinny, you completely lost. <laughs> How did I lose? What do you mean I lost? How because did I lose? I'm the judge, and it's your show, and <laughs> I, I want to see you. Uh, we have a surprise punishment for the loser of uh, wordplay. So I'm going to bring up uh, this for you, Christy. I to, lost? Uh, I lost? Yeah, you lost. <laughs> Wait, what? What do I get to do? I don't know. So honestly, what's the punishment? You remember the video we watched earlier where the girl, uh, the guy paid to have a breakup shot? What the hell was that one? You're going to give video oh, a breakup shot. Oh, the shot with the, f- oh, yeah. hell no. Yeah. That's not even fair. I thought there was like a pie in the face or something stupid, dude. I'm glad I, I'm glad I won is oh, all I want to say. Oh my God. Oh, th- uh, but hold on. If I, lo- I would have slapped her too and, b- and done the whole thing to her. Oh, not allowed, so not allowed. Only oh, the God. loser. Here, let me grab Kelly. Kelly that would have been a Me Too movement. But this is totally... Yo, can you turn this one on, Jorge? This mic, too? i put this... Oh, my God. So you have to take the shot, and wait, you okay. get to throw the water, and then... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So every... Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. So I have to... Where are we looking at? This one? <laughs> this is not good. Oh, Chris, let's come up here, because they want... Oh, for you to see me get it. Worse. I wish I had some, like, epic music for this. Oh, my God. Wait, so, so, so she should hold the mic, then. So yeah, can you play a song? So wait, this is called the what shot? The breakup the shot? The breakup shot. Oh, because shot. she so wasn't my guys, ex in the sketch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When guys, so, when guys break up, so apparently Christy, they pay Christy, for hold, them to that? get it done. I don't think I can anymore. Oh, uh, yo, can, uh, I don't saw it yet. So I'm getting, music too, I'm yeah. getting the, I have to do the shot. Can you do the splash and hit me? Yeah. Okay. This is so stupid. <laughs> right. okay. Three, two, one. Oh, that's real. <laughs> She's shocked that she hit him that, that hard. I don't Will think she meant to do that. Oh that my god. That was Will Smith real shit. right there. <laughs> Bro, I, so my ear drum popped. It's Will Smith over here. <laughs> yo, oh be not yet. Hey, Will you dumb Smith. bitch. Oh you better god, stop. Yo, yo, all right, yo, oh. guys. Thank you for watching. I want to bring everybody on the show up here. Yo, Dodge, get up here. Stand I up here. I got you a gift too, by the way. I want everybody. Get up. Oh, bring your ass up here. Maverick, get up here right now. Hori, can you can Hori come up here? We can. Play some of that music though, we're good. Well listen, no dude, that was, no, that was perfect. Everybody get in this shot. Maverick, all right guys, I want everybody out there to know, I appreciate the hell out of you. We had a vision, we executed it, it was our first live show. There's nothing like this show. I appreciate the support more than you know. I want to give a shout out to Dodge, Shamari, Christy, Kelly, Maverick, Mario, Pat, Angel, Jorge, Janita, uh, Andres is in the back. Guys, we love you. Every Wednesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, please come see us. We love you guys. Peace. We're out.